In this problem, we have a block of mass 0 0.1 kilograms, which is lying on an inclined plane, which makes an angle theta with the horizontal. The block is subjected to a horizontal force of 1 Newton and the block is stationary. We have to find the direction of the frictional force acting on the block and pick the right options. So, as usual, the first step in solving such problems is to draw an FBD. So, here is the FBD of the block showing all the forces acting on it. The weight mg acts downwards. mg is 0 0.1 times 10 which means 1 Newton acting downwards. The horizontal force of 1 Newton is acting towards left. Now, these two forces have components along the plane and the normal. This force 1 cos theta is the component of the externally applied force acting up the plane and the component of the weight acting along the plane is 1 sin theta. Of course, these two forces have components along the normal and together they would be equal to the normal reaction force N, but we are not concerned about the forces acting along the normal. We are presently interested only in the forces shown in the blue color acting along the plane because the forces acting along the plane are responsible for the motion or equilibrium of the block. Now, my question is, is the FBD complete? The answer is no because we have missed out the frictional force. But in which direction does the friction force act? Well, the answer is we do not know because we do not know the direction in which the block has a tendency to move. So, we have to first find out the direction in which the block has a tendency to move and the trick in finding that out is to find a resultant of these two forces, the force which is pulling it up the plane and the force which is pulling down the plane and having found the resultant, we can then determine the direction of the frictional force because it will be opposing the direction of that resultant so as to ensure that the net force acting on the block is zero. So, for each of the cases of the angle of the incline, we will determine the resultant of these two forces and then find out the direction of the frictional force. So, let us take case 1 when the angle of the incline theta is 45 degrees. So, the force acting up the plane is 1 cos theta and theta is 45 therefore, it is 1 cos 45 degrees and this will be equal to 1 upon root 2 Newtons. The force acting down the plane is 1 sin theta that is 1 sin of 45 degrees and will be equal to 1 upon root 2 Newtons. So, the resultant of these two forces will be 0 because both are equal. So, the resultant of these two forces, let us call it R is 0 and therefore, the frictional force will also be equal to 0. So, option A is correct. Now, let us take the second case when theta is greater than 45 degrees. Now, the force acting down the plane 1 sin theta will be greater than the force pulling it up which is 1 cos theta. This is true for any angle theta larger than 45 degrees. So, the resultant force, the resultant of these two forces would be acting down the plane and I indicate this with an arrow pointing downwards and therefore, the frictional force 
will be opposing this direction of the resultant and will therefore be acting up the plate. That is the frictional force will be pointing towards Q and therefore option C is correct and obviously then option B would be incorrect. Let us take the third case when theta is smaller than 45 degrees. We have 1 cos theta, the force pulling the block up the plane is larger than 1 sin theta which is the force pulling it down and therefore the resultant of these two forces would be acting in upward direction which will mean that the frictional force has to act in downward direction so as to oppose the direction of the resultant of these two forces and ensure that the net force acting on the block is zero and the block remains stationary. So the frictional force will point towards P and therefore option D also is incorrect. So the correct options are A and C. B and D options are incorrect. So that's our answer. So thank you for watching and if you liked the video please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.